Glucose syrup, also known as confectioner's glucose, is a syrup made from the hydrolysis of starch. Glucose is a sugar. Maize corn is commonly used as the source of the starch in the U.S., in which case the syrup is called corn syrup. But glucose syrup is also made from potatoes and wheat, and less often from barley, rice and cassava. P. 21 glucose syrup containing over 90% glucose is used in industrial fermentation, but syrups used in confectionery contain varying amounts of glucose, maltose and higher oligosaccharides, depending on the grade, and can typically contain 10% to 43% glucose. Glucose syrup is used in foods to sweeten, soften texture and add volume. By converting some of the glucose in corn syrup into fructose using an enzymatic process, a sweeter product, high fructose corn syrup can be produced. It was first made in 1811 in Russia. Topic: <laughs> Types. Depending on the method used to hydrolyze the starch and on the extent to which the hydrolysis reaction has been allowed to proceed, different grades of glucose syrup are produced, which have different characteristics and uses. The syrups are broadly categorized according to their dextrose equivalent de. The further the hydrolysis process proceeds, the more reducing sugars are produced, and the higher the de, depending on the process used, glucose syrups with different compositions, and hence different technical properties, can have the same de. Topic. Confectioner's syrup The original glucose syrups were manufactured by acid hydrolysis of corn starch at high temperature and pressure. The typical product had a de of 42, but quality was variable due to the difficulty of controlling the reaction. Higher de syrups made by acid hydrolysis tend to have a bitter taste and a dark color, due to the production of hydroxymethylferferol and other byproducts. P. 26 This type of product is now manufactured using a continuous process and is still widely used due to the low cost of acid hydrolysis. The sugar profile of a confectioner's syrup can also be mimicked by enzyme hydrolysis. A typical confectioner's syrup contains 19% glucose, 14% maltose, 11% maltotriase and 56% higher molecular mass carbohydrates. P. 464 A typical 42 de syrup has about half the sweetness of sugar. P. 71 An increasing de leads to increased sweetness, with a 63 de syrup being about 70%, and pure dextrose 100 de about 80% as sweet as sugar. P. 71 Topic. High maltose glucose syrups By using beta amylase or fungal alpha amylase, glucose syrups containing over 50% maltose, or even over 70% maltose extra high maltose syrup can be produced, p. 465 This is possible because these enzymes remove two glucose units i.e. one maltose molecule at a time from the end of the starch molecule. High maltose glucose syrup has a great advantage in the production of hard candy. At a given moisture level and temperature, a maltose solution has a lower viscosity than a glucose solution, but will still set to a hard product. Maltose is also less humectant than glucose, so candy produced with high maltose syrup will not become sticky as easily as candy produced with a standard glucose syrup. P. 81. Topic. Commercial preparation Irrespective of the feedstock or the method used for hydrolysis, certain steps are common to the production of glucose syrup. Topic. Preparation Before conversion of starch to glucose can begin, the starch must be separated from the plant material. This includes removing fiber and protein which can be valuable by products, for example wheat or maize gluten p. 22. Protein produces off flavors and colors due to the Maillard reaction, and fiber is insoluble and has to be removed to allow the starch to become hydrated. The plant material also needs to be ground as part of this process to expose the starch to the water. Soaking. The starch needs to be swelled to allow the enzymes or acid to act upon it. When grain is used, sulfur dioxide is added to prevent spoilage. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Gelatinization. By heating the ground, clean feedstock, starch gelatinization takes place. The intermolecular bonds of the starch molecules are broken down, allowing the hydrogen bonding sites to engage more water. This irreversibly dissolves the starch granule, so the chains begin to separate into an amorphous form. This prepares the starch for hydrolysis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hydrolysis. Glucose syrup can be produced by acid hydrolysis, enzyme hydrolysis, or a combination of the two. Currently, however, a variety of options are available. Formerly, glucose syrup was only produced by combining corn starch with dilute hydrochloric acid, and then heating the mixture under pressure. Currently, glucose syrup is mainly produced by first adding the enzyme alpha amylase to a mixture of corn starch and water. Alpha amylase is secreted by various species of the bacterium bacillus. The enzyme is isolated from the liquid in which the bacteria are grown. The enzyme breaks the starch into oligosaccharides, which are then broken into glucose molecules by adding the enzyme glucoamylase, known also as gamma amylase. Glucoamylase is secreted by various species of the fungus aspergillus. The enzyme is isolated from the liquid in which the fungus is grown. The glucose can then be transformed into fructose by passing the glucose through a column that is loaded with the enzyme D-xylose isomerase, an enzyme that is isolated from the growth medium of any of several bacteria. Clarification After hydrolysis, the dilute syrup can be passed through columns to remove impurities, improving its color and stability. Evaporation The dilute glucose syrup is finally evaporated under vacuum to raise the solids concentration. Uses Its major uses in commercially prepared food products are as a thickener, sweetener, and humectant an ingredient that retains moisture and thus maintains a food's freshness. Glucose syrup is also widely used in the manufacture of a variety of candy products. In the United States, domestically produced corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup HFCS are often used in American-made processed and mass-produced foods, candies, soft drinks and fruit drinks to increase profit margins. Glucose syrup was the primary corn sweetener in the United States prior to the expanded use of HFCS production. HFCS is a variant in which other enzymes are used to convert some of the glucose into fructose. The resulting syrup is sweeter and more soluble. Corn syrup is also available as a retail product. Glucose syrup is often used as part of the mixture that goes into creating fake blood for films and television. Blood mixtures that contain glucose syrup are very popular among independent films and filmmakers, as it is cheap and easy to obtain. See also High fructose corn syrup Mizuame Molasses <laughs>